It's been a long time since I've been on this island. Honestly, I never thought I'd be back. I haven't been on this beach in a while. I think, uh, two years to be exact. I think it's time for a comeback. Oh, hello. Maybe we have almost the same skin. Yeah, you're right, looking pretty you? good. You're looking pretty good, man. No, you're looking better. No. Better than ever. No, look at you. Look at that beard. Beautifully trimmed. No. Oh, your beard looks magnificent compared to mine. No, look at that. Look up for me, look up for me. Oh my god. Yeah, that's looking good. You're making me a little... You're making me a little frisky. And there I went, deeper off into the island, looking for adventure. Not knowing what I'd find, but excited nonetheless. This story is going to be about someone who hasn't played Rust in well over two years. I'm gonna be learning new things, trying to understand the game again. Learning the mechanics and and just trying to survive my first time back in Rust. So my first order of business was to try and get a base down, get some food, and survive. At least my first night. Which is much easier said than done. I would come to uh I would come to find out. Let's try to make our first bow after uh, a long while. This is all very new to me. This whole game looks completely different very different this is all new but this is pretty cool i'm digging all this look at this this looks very nice wow and would you look at that i got a bow oh yeah my first bow in a very long time now the real question is can i still shoot it as I continued my adventure, I started with the basics. I got a bow, I got a hatchet, soon to come a pickaxe. I was cutting down trees, hitting rocks. It looked like I was doing pretty well. I was about to get a base down without actually running into anyone. This was my very first violent encounter with someone in Rust. And this game is just as brutal as I remember when I left it. Because I think I saw them coming out with something. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for a a 1v4 right now. Oh god, there's someone else. What's up, bud? <laughs> now he's coming at me. Here's my first battle. Alright. Oh. Here we go. Ah! You're horrible. You're horrible. You're bad. You're horrible. He wasn't wrong. I definitely needed to get better. I had a lot of improving to do. I had a long way to go before I was back to where I was two years ago. But that's the point of a comeback, right? I gotta start somewhere. It's a wolf over there. Which will kill me if I'm not careful. Let's make a hammer. And you know what? Not a, not a horrible spot. I say we build... Uh, there's a base right there, kind of close. Let's build over here. Build up in these little hills over here. Okay, we got ourselves a base. 
So I was minding my own business cutting some trees behind my base and well, what would Russ be without a nice set of neighbors, am I right? Hello, Mark. Whoa, 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 whoa! We can be friends, bud. Alright. So, after that, I decided to do a little training. I grabbed myself a bow and adventured off into the world. At least hit your first shot, you dumb fucking bow piece of shit. Hit your fucking shot, you, you fucking idiot. Alright. Alright. Pick me up. You, kill you wasted all your arrows on it. Naked. Oh, uh, you die by the AK. Alright. I just spawned. Congratulations. <laughs> 500 wood. F you. No, because all you're gonna do is f kill me afterwards. F you. Go f yourself. Get your own goddamn wood. Yeah, f you. Hey, Congratulations. Drop your wood. Drop your wood. You didn't have to hit two trees. Drop your wood. Yeah. This is why you're stuck. Yeah, this is why you're gonna be stuck in prim. Hey. Hey, that's more than a thousand wood. Congratulations. You got a person that got three trees. Thank you. Yeah, this is why you're going to be stuck in Prim. Prim? Yeah. Oh, yo, 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 yo. No smoke? Yeah, come on. Come on, that's cheating. That's cheap, bro. That's cheap. I don't got a gun. Fuck you, you kill yourself. Fuck you, you kill yourself. Kill yourself. After I was taken down, I was fortunate enough to spawn on the Come beach and meet life. a couple of guys who were new to the game as well. Uh, oh, we have, we're alone. This is our scared. first time playing this game and scared, yeah. You guys want to be buds? I keep getting messed up. Uh, yeah, sure. Show. No, yeah, especially no. the people with all the assault rifles and yeah. Oh, never got coming. Guys. Hello. What good? Hello. Hello. Um, it's not really. Sa I don't think so. like four four people just standing around like this. Some guys are gonna come up. And gun. We gotta get moving. These were my kind of people. They were nice, talkative, new to the game. You know what could go wrong? I was excited to see where our adventure was gonna head. No, that's the worst that can happen. We all die. No, absolutely not. That that could never happen. Yeah, no, uh, we, yeah. we couldn't bump into, like, an yeah. IED. Or, or a bear. We could run into a bear, too. <laughs> oh, for oh, like that. Cat. Pat, you dead? I think Pat's dead. Oh, f***. Ah! <laughs> 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 Fortunate enough for me, a little time later, I was able to find them again. And this is where our adventure continues. We could hey. stand and fight. Oh, look who it is. Hey, look, it's you guys. Hey, it's, it's this dude again. Yo, yo, look, what, what up, dude? We met. Uh, he this is said, Joe. He said, oh, that bear, and then I died. <laughs> and then, then, then we died, yes. Yeah. I learned how to form a team. Apparently. Yeah, the, uh, the bear good. mauled me too. This game is fucking wild so far. Eventually, we landed on an island filled with weird, creepy oh. island people that weren't very nice. So, uh, we tried to take one out, and this is how it went. You guys' base. Stop following me, man. Stop following me, man. Eventually, we were able to find a nice quiet part of the map. We got our base going, we had a few nice neighbors, and everything looked like it was going pretty well. Alright. We're gonna need sleeping bags. We're gonna need sleeping bags, stone, and fuel. Are you guys ready? Sounds like a Yes. I only found one animal, too, and it's a deer. What? Who is this guy? 
I have no idea. He's been following me around and pointing at me. I don't want to be a dick and kill this person. I, I haven't. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's just been following me around. There's some kind of cryptic message we're we're missing here. I don't know. I think it's. I I, I think we're trying to play charades. This is a game of charades. I was never good at charades. It's not charades. No. Okay. So he's not good. It's not charades. It's yes or no questions. Uh, have I wronged you in any way? <laughs> Shrug. I don't know. Um. Uh, mm. Does he want your then, spear? Okay, point, uh, what, do you want my rock? He wants a rock? Okay, now they're both of them point. Joe, you're not helping. You want, you want a rock. No, okay, you don't want a rock. Do you want food? I think he wants your soul. Uh, he does! Uh, oh. Well, I'm sorry. I have already pledged my soul to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, so I'm going to have to ask you to vacate the premises. After meeting with that interesting fellow, we decided to go talk to our neighbors who were actually pretty friendly with us. We asked them if they wanted to help us go and attack the island. You guys want to help us with something? Help you? Yes, sir, man. Yes. Alright. So, right across the island here, it's a bunch of, uh, as you would say, poles. You guys wouldn't mind coming over there and helping us fuck with them a little bit, you know, in the morning time. Absolutely, dude. Let's go. Beautiful. Bed. All right, I'll be back over here in the morning time. Make some spears or bows or whatever. We're gonna go fuck with them because they're real cocky over there. Real cocky. So we're gonna go fuck with them. No problem, Oman. All right. Here's a bow. Here's it. Here's some arrows. Sick. All right. Now we're ready for our island assault. Still underneath the f All right, let's roll. Thank you very much. Make sure not to go near the ranch, or you will be gunned down by the turrets. Got it. Free corn for everyone. All right. He lives somewhere over here. No, yeah, yeah there's some people in the barn. Thing. Wait, hang on. I'm not gonna... Maybe someone would try to go broker a piece. I'm gonna go talk to him. I, I don't come to harm. I come in peace. Good evening. Hey, bud, where are you coming from, huh? We got a boy. We got we got a hostile over here. Island scum! Darn! Behind us! turned on us we may not have won that island battle but I did have fun that was my first time in two years organizing a group and going out for a revenge story they don't always turn out how you think they are but hey in the end I had a good time doing it and I look forward to more revenge stories in the future What do you want from us? I have a surprise for you. 
We were, we were backstabbed, weren't we? With the neighbors. No, I... I have something... even worse. But first he has a note for you to read. Oh, what is it? Huh? Blood begets only blood, a curse for a curse. What the hell is that supposed to mean? He's here for you. <laughs> what? Who's here for me? Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. He needs your soul. I, I'm sorry, my soul's already been taken. Oh, bollocks! <laughs> you may take his soul. Vice, you sold me out. Oh. Yes. What does it say? It's a good child. Agni in 